So we've got our header configured. I like the way it looks. And the next thing I'm going to do is configure the footer. That way we have the basic skeleton of the website complete, and then we can move into the actual page content. So let's go over to the footer. And then we've got our footer builder here. It's very similar to the header builder. We've got our top row, middle row, and bottom row. So if we scroll down so we can actually see the footer. We can see that all we have here is the copyright text. So I think the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and edit this copyright text. And the current configuration here is using these placeholders. So we've got copyright, current year, site title, and theme credit. Now I highly recommend that you do use these placeholders. That way you don't have to come back every January 1st and change the year. So I'm going to leave the copyright symbol, the year, and the site title. I am going to remove the theme credit though. So that looks good. Um, you know, if you wanted to add a little more text here, say all rights reserved or something like that, you could do that. But I think I will keep it simple and just have the copyright year and the site title. So that looks good to me. And the next thing I'm going to do is actually move that over to the left side. So what we're going to do here is change the number of columns to, I think we'll do two columns, just two equal columns left and right. So now we've got our copyright text on the left and we're going to add something on the right. And I think I'm going to do some social media buttons. So we'll do social. We've got the same three buttons that we have in the header, but I do want to move them over to the right side. So we change the content align to align right. Now for design purposes, I do want to backtrack a little bit, go back to the main footer settings, and I'm going to go to design, and I'm going to change the footer background. And I think I'm going to use this darker color. So that looks good to me. Obviously we have to change this text color so it's readable. Uh, but aside from that, I do like this background color for the footer. So we'll go ahead and edit the text, change the font color to white. Then we're going to edit the social media buttons. And just like we did for the header, I'm going to change it to outline. And then here for the colors, I'm going to do white for the initial color. And we'll do our main purple accent color for the hover. Let's see how that looks. Looks good to me. Now the other thing I notice here is that this text seems to be vertically centered, but the icons are not. So I do want to go ahead and change that. The content vertical align. I want to align that to the middle. I'm just going to make sure that's set here as well. So content vertical align, middle looks good. So these look a lot more symmetrical now. And I think that'll do it for the bottom row. Now I'm going to add another row above that. We'll do a middle row. And for this middle row, I think we're also going to do two columns. So we'll go to the settings, change the columns to two. And on the left side, what I'd like to add is a logo. So there's not an option for a logo here, but what we can do is add one of these widget areas. So if we add, say, widget one, we can then edit that widget, and we have a little block editor here. So what I'd like to do is just insert that image that I uploaded earlier, the logo image. We'll select it, and then we've got our logo in the footer. Now this is too big. I definitely want to resize this. So we'll go to this block and we'll click show more settings. 
So here I'm gonna choose the image size. We can size down to medium. Of course, we can choose these specific proportions as well, but I'm just gonna see if medium works first. Medium still feels a little bit big. So let's try these proportions, maybe 50%, 75%. I think 75% is fine. Uh, it's 225 pixels wide. Let's, let's try maybe 200 and just see how that looks. A little bit smaller. Yeah, I think that's I think that's sufficient. So we'll stick with 200 by 64. And then on the other side, I'm going to add a navigation menu. So we'll add footer navigation. And we will edit that. Now I am going to create a new menu for the footer. So we'll create a new menu. Name it footer. Click next. And I'm gonna add some items to this menu. So I think for the footer, I actually wanna add all of our pages here. So we'll do home, about us, contact, and privacy policy. Just sort of the typical things you'd expect to find in a website footer. So I think that'll do it for the menu. The next thing we need to change is the design and alignment of this menu. Because you can see our social media icons are way over here, but our menu is weirdly off to the left. So we're gonna align it to the right, and we're also gonna do a middle align. So that looks better, and now we're gonna go into the design for this menu. So I'm gonna change the initial color to white, and I think the hover color is good, it's our main accent color. And then the active color, I think I'm actually gonna just change that to white as well, because I don't necessarily want it to be permanently purple when we're on the About Us page. So white is fine for active, and then we've got our purple accent color for the hover color. Now, just like our navigation menu at the top, I'm gonna increase the font weight a little bit. And actually, I think since we have a sign-in button at the top, we might want to add a sign-in link to this menu as well. I don't think I'm going to do a button. I think we'll just do a link in this menu. So I'll go back to the menu itself and edit the menu. We'll add a new link. And again, I'm just going to do a placeholder and call it sign-in. Okay, so that's good. Now, I notice that both of these menus are sort of awkwardly tall. So let's go to edit the footer again. We'll edit the middle row. And I think what we need to change here is the top and bottom spacing. So we've got 30 pixels on the top and the bottom. That's a bit much. Let's reduce this to, I think we could do, let's start with 20 pixels and just see how that looks. And then I wanna do the same thing for the bottom row. Although the bottom row, I think we can make a little bit smaller because there's less content here. So let's do maybe 10 pixels on the top and 10 pixels on the bottom. Actually, I think we could go lower than that. Let's do five. Okay, I think that's a better proportion. Now, what I'd like to do is add a little bit of separation between these two rows. So let's go to the middle row, and we'll go to design. Let's see if we can add a bottom border to this row. Okay, so what I've done there is I chose a solid border, I made it white, and I made it one pixel. Now the white is like very high contrast here. So I think what I'll do instead is take this color that we're currently using and just make it a little bit lighter. So 
I'm just manually moving this color picker around to create a very subtle border. So I think that will work for me. It's a very subtle one pixel border, just a slightly different color from the background of the footer itself, just to separate and distinguish these two rows. So now if we come out of here, hide the footer builder, hide the controls, this is what our footer looks like. So we've got our logo, we've got our menu, we've got our copyright text, and we've got our social media buttons. So it's a very simple footer. It's got all the standard features that you would expect to see in a footer, and I think it looks pretty good. So with that, I'm gonna go ahead and save my changes, and that takes care of our footer.